I was never taught much about our post-colonial history. You know, I had to stumble upon this history of the 1970s actually because I was kind of obsessed with the Cold War and kind of political intrigue, that type of thing. And um, the Caribbean was the front line, or one of the front lines of the Cold War in the 1970s. Um, and because of things happening in our government and also Michael Manley is a prime minister and our allegiance to Cuba, there became a certain opposition and we became players in the Cold War, you know? And there were destabilization tactics employed in our country similarly to those in Chile, but just not as known and not as documented. So I'm a storyteller. So I'm trying to tell stories that should be told and I feel my generation needs to understand this history to get a perspective on what's happening now and where we've reached to now. You know? In particular, a particular event being the 2010 state of emergency. Right? That was essentially a similar equation where certain people are empowered to do certain things by people in the government, by political parties. And then when those people become too, too much trouble, mm. the security forces are sent down to sort it out. And it happens over and over.